This was a rebuild? Yes. It was a tear out rebuild uh -huh. where they had these huge basalt columns and only one of them was running in the middle. And it really does look like a middle finger. You can see in the picture here. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not kidding you. When they're really wanting to impress people, we'll have two pumps running. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden he'll hit the third one and the water volume just increases and people are like, what just happened? It's like having a full orchestra versus <laughs> like just a small piece band. And look how tame those fish are. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? They yeah. just right up to you. He doesn't even have food. <laughs> they think he has awesome. food. And look at the dog. <laughs> You're happy, aren't you? I was actually gonna walk over here because I thought this was your shop over here. No, it's not this shop. We're not going to the fantasy gifts. We're going to the Premier Aquarium Services. I'm Greg Witsock the Pongai. This is my channel, Greg Witsock the Pongai, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. I'm with two goofball guys, Nick and Justin from Pond King Water Gardens out here, and they do spectacular work. And this is a job that you got through the Certified Aquascape Cutter Lead, right? Yeah, yeah, they found us on the CAC locator. We came out here, and it was a water feature that needed a lot of work. So, so they, they bought a house that had an existing water feature. Yep. They looked for, they Googled water features, found Aquascape, entered their information, and found you up here, because you're a Certified Aquascape Contractor. Yeah, exactly. Nate, the pond guy, Greg. Nice to meet you. Wow, what Welcome. a beautiful backyard, bro. Thank you. How long have you lived here? It's pretty recent. Eight years. Oh, this was a while ago you built this. Well, we built this uh, in Two the fall of 2017. Yeah. So you lived with it for a while. So what'd you end up doing here, Nick? So what we had here is we came in, they found us in the certified aquascape lo uh, locator. Mm -hmm. We came in and it, it was a pond in need of work. It was an aquascape ecosystem pond. It had a skimmer. It wasn't in the wrong place. They didn't have enough gravel. It wasn't filled in all the way. Very muddy, very mucky. All the viewpoints had been overgrown. They weren't really considering how they were enjoying it. It was your typical homeowner special. Yeah. My first pond does not look the way this does now. Sure. I've spent 15 years learning how to build. So that's a big reason why we get chosen. This is our medium aquascape ecosystem pond. It's our deluxe. It has three extra pumps. So we're running three large pumps, about 80,000 pounds of boulders, wetland filter, tons of stream, lots of things happening. The pond itself takes us about three weeks to do. So you're close to like 300 man hours, somewhere in there. And this one would go for right around $40,000. For $40,000, you can have by far the coolest yard in the neighborhood. Yeah. Hey, can I see your fish? Sure. Got some new babies, huh? Yeah, just uh, got them a couple weeks ago. A little homemade setup here for babies. A little nursery. So are these some of them that were born in the pond and then also nope. some you ordered? Or? Nope, I just ordered. I got way more than I was expecting. You got a plenty big enough pond, that's for sure. So you're a real hobbyist, huh? I do all kinds of different stuff, just for fun. Keeps me uh, de-stressed and entertained. Yeah, so you literally got into this hobby because you bought a house with a pond and now you're ordering fish online and raising them up in your garage. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love that. this water feature been for uh, maintenance? Really pretty good. Way easier than the last one. You know, the new skimmer design, well, the basket that's just pop it over a little yep. Head and shoulders above, and you know, when you actually have it designed correctly, it's a good filter, it's easy. I mean, of course, we're gonna have some leaves, but I'm used to that, but other than that, it's awesome. What would you say to somebody that doesn't understand living the aquascape lifestyle? We're out here all summer and well into the fall, every time we can, eating dinner, breakfast, lunches, everything we've got. And he was out here eating lunch when we pulled up, which yeah. is why he didn't answer the door. <laughs> I don't blame you. My wife and I laugh sometimes because we're like, we don't have a cabin, we've got a backyard. Amen. You live the aquascape lifestyle right at home. What do people say that come into your yard for the first time? They're just shocked. They're like, wow. I've had a few people like, this should be at like a museum, a zoo, a hotel. This is just above and beyond. We got a fountain. I can see it right there. Isn't that awesome? And I heard it before I saw it. Oh, I love it. All right, let's check yeah. it out, boys.
So what did you do here, Nick? Uh, it's an aquascape pondless system uh -huh. where we use the aquascape urns. So in the before picture, you can see they had these huge columns. The customer loved the height, but they didn't like feeling like they were getting the middle finger. How bad is that? <laughs> right? The height was still important to us, and that's where these urns came in perfect. Because look at where the water is cresting. Uh -huh. You can't get that buildup without having huge buildup behind with water or using something like this, this these bubbling urns. So you got vertical elevation without having to build up is what you're saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So we have three different four to 8,000 gallon an hour pumps. One is running the urn, the fuser that starts the waterfall here, another one that starts here. It's a custom build. Yep. So we took our large pondless package, which is about 25 feet in length, because that's from here to there is about 25 feet. Yep. Then we added a second pump, which we add a party pump for right around five to 7,000. Then we added the urns and another, a third pump, which added about 16 to 18,000 to the project. So the whole project was installed in about three weeks, close to 400 man hours. You and Justin and... And then uh, we had Justin's father, which we call the stress mitigator. He <laughs> helps us all the time. Perfect part-time helper, hardworking old man. He's awesome. <laughs> He's okay. the hardest working guy we got. And then we had uh, Justin's cousin actually flew in from New York. He uh, lives in New York City, was tired of the hustle and bustle in New York, had to get away. So he uh -huh. spent a month with us, spent a month building with us, recording and everything. And we actually made a video called Life of a Boulder out of this one. We followed around this boulder right here from the point we picked it out to the point we placed it and we made a cool little video of it. The life of a boulder, why not? We'll put a link to... <laughs> the life of a boulder. <laughs> oh, that right up there, yeah. all right. Oh, that is a cool rock. All right, the life of a boulder will be down in the link below. So what was the total selling price then? This one we sold for 45,000. And the reason that you put so many water features are so many pumps and so many falls on this was because you wanted sound or what? We wanted the sound, we wanted it to be impressive, we wanted there to be a lot of reasons to walk around it, uh -huh. a lot of different view angles. So when you're sitting at the TV, you still yep. get to enjoy it. Yep. When you're sitting at the hot tub, you still get to enjoy it. When you're having dinner up on their three season porch, you still get to enjoy it. Tell me a little bit about Pondemonium in this build. We were building this and had to leave in the middle. Uh -huh. the Pondemonium. Yeah, we're building a fountain feature at the Q Center and learning from the best in the world. And one little thing we took was how to install the lights, drilling into the urns themselves and siliconing them around them and installing them. One thing we had no clue was even a possibility and we came back and did it. And right. Applied it. Literally stopped the job, went to Pondemonium, came back and applied something immediately that you learned that increased the beauty of this water feature. Oh yeah. No Pondemonium's doubt. been huge for us. We keep learning different things like the underwater lighting being a problem in the industry and how you guys solved it. Why would you not want to be behind Aquascapes? Research and development. They're always pouring money back into the business and the industry. I love yeah. it. I bought them lunch. <laughs> We're not going to the fantasy gifts. We're going to the premier aquarium services. Look at that, hey Mike, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> we were in the area, so we That's decided we would stop by. That's awesome. We're uh, battling the city. Eventually we want all this to be water, water features. And... Why wouldn't the city like that, you know? I mean, it would just be so beautiful. How long in here? Two years. Two years, let's go check it out. This was a dream of yours, right? Yeah, we wanted to have a showroom. Your prospective clients could come. Wow. To kind of get a feel for different styles of tanks that we do, so. Yes, nice planted tank right here with a beautiful angel. So we got Mike Mackey, a longtime certified oxygen conjurer that specializes in aquariums and also does water features, correct? Yep. yep. What is this? It's the premier guy. <laughs> So we try to have different styles of tanks that we do from custom, freestanding, built-in. Turtles. Yeah, turtles! Oh yeah. yeah! Look at so this. 
Yeah, that's a great tank. The showrooms open just limited hours, like uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but most of the time it's by appointment. Oh, you know, this is not real, is it? It was. Are you serious? Is that a crocodile that big? I think it's just an alligator. That is like the biggest alligator skull I've ever seen. That must be like a 15 footer. I mean, you got archer fish in here, huh? Yeah, that's why we took the glass out. They just start making such a mess on the glass. Oh, shooting the water? Yeah, they'll shoot it all the way up to here. Yeah, just for fun. <laughs> yeah. We got some spillway bowls. We've got our fish room where we quarantine all of our livestock. Uh huh. Man, everything is in place here. Some um, the fresh water, salt water, pretty much anything that comes in. Make sure we quarantine at least two weeks. Make sure it's an optimal health. And lionfish that are taking over the yeah. the reefs. Are you building a tank out here? Yes. This used to be our staging area, so I apologize for the mess. We're literally shuffling the back and the front half here. Making a stand right now? Yeah, they're just painting it. This is a just a structural support stand, so that'll get trimmed in when we do a built-in. And this is where you got your start, right? I'm indebted to this man. I, I have a career because of him, and, and yeah, he's a mentor of mine. So, where I got started. So you were here for three years? 2003 to 2007, roughly, the spring of 2007. So starting in 2008, you could hear yourself think again. <laughs> I think I'm talking to you right here look at that nice boys how long did you build this we built this last year they signed up with us in uh, the fall of 2017 to be number one in our priority line for 2018 uh-huh this was the first one we built last year This is our uh, medium aquascape ecosystem pond. It's seven by 10, about uh -huh. 30 inches deep. The lilies really like the 30 inch depth here in Minnesota. And we used our superior stone, so we used really heavy superior boulders. It gives us substance, this huge feel, because this is a tight Minneapolis backyard, but it has an awesome northern feel to it. One of the things we always do is think interaction. How are they gonna use it? Give them a cool place to sit and feed the fish. And look how tame those fish are. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? They yeah. just right up to you. He doesn't even have food. <laughs> you think he has awesome. food. You get your aquascape fish food, shameless plug right there. And then the fish come up and they learn to eat out of your hands and you just feed them in the same spot every day. We actually had to build it from the back outwards because of the tight access. Because of the access, yep. yep. I mean, it's a small backyard. So what would a water feature like this entail installed from Pond King? Yeah, this is about a $20,000 water feature. This is our medium aquascape ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And when we do superior stone, it ups the amount of tonnage of boulders you have. So instead of it being about 20,000 pounds of boulders, it ended up being about 30,000 pounds of boulders. Because it's more dense. More dense, harder mm -hmm. to use. Look. So this is regular rock. This is more <laughs> dense rock. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our 48,000 gallon uh, per hour adjustable pump on it, underwater lights, an auto top off valve. It's set up so it's as easy to take care of as possible. And you can have this put in your yard by us with the blue stone for right around $20,000. So it's got the mechanical filtration with your skimmer. Show me how your skimmer works. I used to not like these fake lids and, and I tried my first pond I ever built, a bunch of slate rock. Mm -hmm. It was such a headache for the client, she hated it. So now I've gotten used to these awesome, these are like the new generation. They're mm -hmm. lightweight, they're easy to take care of and come off really easily. I love these skimmer lids. Yep. You guys have upgraded to the skimmer basket, which is just like a shopping cart. I mean, look how easy that is to empty for your average consumer. They just have to take it over into Yeah, and dump it out. So is it a lot of maintenance for your son? No, he, he he's always putzing with it a little bit and improving it. He spent a lot of time decorating it with the plants around the outside. So more of the garden than the pond. Oh yeah. For me as the pond guy to come out and see how my customers' customers live the aquascape lifestyle inspires me to even want to do more of these vlogs. And if you want to help me get the word out there, please like, comment, and share these videos so more people can see what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. I love my job.